Hello, hello, my dear students. Welcome to your first intermediate class. Okay, you've done well on your basic. Very proud of you, not proud of you, I'm very proud of you. So, uh, lesson one today with the intermediate, we're going for nouns and possessives. We studied nouns and possessives in basic, but now we're going to get more into it. Okay, so nouns and possessives. Use nouns uh, with the apostrophe S with a singular noun to draw possession. So remember, the singular nouns, we will use the apostrophe and we use the S. For example, we are having the barbecue at Wilson's house. So Wilson, apostrophe S, house. Okay, so the, uh, the barbecue, we're going to have it at his house because the house belongs to Wilson. Okay, so a singular noun, Wilson, we put the apostrophe uh, and the S to show that the house is his. Uh, another one, Michael drove his friend's car, friend's car. So apostrophe S on friend, friend's car, because the car belongs to Michael's friend. Okay, we use the S and the apostrophe with a plural noun ending in S. So for example, if a plural noun already ends in S, you don't need to put another S and apostrophe. We just use the apostrophe. For example, parents. Parents is already in plural. It's a plural noun and it ends with an S. So what do we do? We only add the apostrophe. We don't need to put parenthesis. Okay, because it would sound very strange. So we put parents and the apostrophe. That's it. So, uh, an example. This, this is my parents' house. Okay, it means that the house belongs to my parents. Those are ladies' shoes. It means that those specific uh, shoes belongs to women. Okay, women wears them normally. But some men wear them too, it doesn't matter really. <laughs> um, but we use the apostrophe S with other plural nouns. So for example, do you remember when we were studying the uh, uh, little alone, sorry. Do you remember when we were studying the plural and the singular nouns? And then the plural nouns, some of them change completely. For example, man, men, woman, women, child, children. Okay? So because they have, it's a plural noun, but because they have their own word, we don't really put just like, you know, an S at the end. Um, so we, we can add the apostrophe S. So in plural nouns, it has its own name and it doesn't finish with the S, we can put the apostrophe S. Example, uh, these are men's shoes. Okay, these are men's shoes. Children's clothes are very expensive. I think so too. I mean, God, it's too expensive. It's just a piece of cloth or, you know, material and it's wow. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> we can also use a possessive instead of a noun phrase to avoid repeating words. Now, this is interesting. For example, uh, this is a good one. Is that Bob's car? Bob's car. So the car belongs to Bob. It's a question. Is that Bob's car? And then you can repeat in two way, okay? You can repeat in the long way, for example, no, it's Susan's car. No, it's Susan's car. Or you can do it in a fast way because the subject of the conversation is already the car. And we're using possessive so we could answer. No, it's Susan's with the apostrophe S because the car belongs to Susan. No, oh, sorry. Uh, the, yes, the car belongs to Susan, not to Bob. Okay, so and the object of the whole conversation is the car, so you don't need to repeat it. And there are some more examples here as well. And then we're looking at the personal pronoun, and then you have a little exercise with a possessive pronoun. So, for example, number one, I, it's the personal pronoun. What is the possessive pronoun of I? Is it me, my, mine? Okay, so remember we studied that as well, so this is a little bit of revision for you. You. What is the possessive pronoun of you? Your, yours? I don't know, you need to know. Um, and then, 
we and then there's a little picture here which is good for you uh, and then on the next part of it you have another exercise okay and in the bottom of the exercise there's only five questions or five sentences you have the keywords with the possessives okay or uh, um, the pronouns as well so for example Debbie has already eaten her snack but I'm saving my mine his hers for later so you know you need to see which one goes where don't forget the little rules okay of possessive and objectives um, and then here we have more example look using possessives um, I don't have my umbrella so Marta lent me hers you don't need to repeat I didn't have my umbrella so Marta lent me her umbrella it's tiring you know you have two umbrellas in a sentence so you can cut that down and just use the process of pronouns and then you have more examples here as well and then we also have uh, possessives at the end of the letters so i put this you know just as a tip for you so we have uh we're gonna look in the future in the future intermediate classes we're gonna look at the letters but for now just for you to remember the possessive pronouns we use, for example, in the bottom of the letter we put yours faithfully or yours truly or yours sincerely. I mean, there's just so many ways you can use this, okay? But let's just go for the yours so you know what it is. So yours is also used in English with faithfully or sincerely at the end of a formal letter or email. The two common expressions are yours faithfully is for someone that you don't know and yours sincerely is for someone that you do know. Okay, so someone you don't know at all, you don't know to whom it may concern, you may put yours faithfully. And if you do know the person who you're addressing to, you can just put yours sincerely. And then there's another exercise in which I really want you to do is a single possessive pronoun. So for example, I and my, you and your, he and his, she and her, it, it's, and then I got another it, it's as well. So for example, uh, I am I, I am walking with my brother. Okay, so I am walking with my brother. What's the exercise? I would like for, here you have an example for all of them, but what I want you to do is create one phrase as well for each of them using I and my, you and your, he and his, just like the examples here, just a way for you to practice, okay? And in the bottom, the last part, we do have some examples as well in the possessive pronouns uh, using the apostrophe in the S or just the apostrophe, depending on the plural and the singular. So have a look at that as well, read it and try to make sense of it, okay? Uh, so that's it. Congratulations on your first lesson of intermediate. Uh, the next lesson we're going for lesson two, which is the personal, impersonal, indefinite pronouns. Ooh. All right then. So I'll see you soon with lesson two. Bye.